Using the transfer stashes tool, you can copy stashes from one object to another. If there are existing stashes on the target object, the new stashes will be added to the end. Understand, that when you transfer stashes, no new stash objects will be created, as stashes are just references to those objects. I'm duplicating this object with two stashes, and I'm clearing all stashes on the duplicate. You can confirm this, by comparing the stash counter at the top. I'm then selecting the source object, followed by the target object. Bring up the mesh machine menu and choose transfer stashes. As you can see, the duplicate now has the same stashes. I'm clearing them again now. Even though the stashes on both spheres, point to the same hidden objects, you can still change the location, scale and rotation, and stashes keep working as expected. You can even transfer stashes to completely unrelated objects. I'm also duplicating this new sphere, and I'm again clearing the stashes on the duplicate. I'm now offsetting the origin of the duplicate. And you can see that the stashes are now offset in the same way. You will encounter the same problem, if you try to transfer a stash to a plug subset. As the subset is located and oriented and scaled differently, the transferred stashes will also be located and oriented and scaled differently. To fix this, transfer the stashes, but enable the Retrieve and Restash option in the Redo panel. This forces the creation of new stash objects, that are properly positioned and oriented in relation to the subset. You could do the same manually, by retrieving every single stash object and then stashing them again to the other object. The result is identical, but it's more convenient using the transfer stashes tool. With the proper stashes on the subset, you could now fix the normals of it, using the normal transfer tool. See the normal transfer video for details.